Good morning to everyone. First, uh, uh, first of all, I, I would like to read a statement uh, we've written together with the International Water Justice Movement. Um, faced with the crisis of civilization imposed by capitalism, which is expressed in the climate crisis and that promotes accumulation, dispossession and limitless consumerism, the water and water justice movements demand that the UN agenda resume the discussion of water as a substance of life and a common good, which should be never subject to commodification, commercialization and financialization. It is imperative that the call for this the call for discussions on water as a common good, water as a right, and the integrality of human rights be informed by the public interest and not by the interests of corporations and global water markets, as Oscar and were saying, Oscar and and, and the, her partner. Um, water, its uses and its management are closely related to democratic mechanisms and human rights. The privatization of water in all forms added to the disregard of territorial and democratic management of water by organized community systems are corporate devices of dispossession of the material and immaterial heritage of the communities, as it was said also in the chat today. This appeal then calls for the presence and voice of indigenous people, Afro-descendant communities and peoples, peasant and popular urban communities women who are the protagonists of the struggles and actions of resistance and management for the defense of water and life in the processes of community water management, union organizations, public water operators and users, based on their own, own words, experiences and lived practices, fundamental as alternatives to the dispossession and privatization which we have nowadays. In the last minute uh, from Engineering Without Borders and I was with a platform, we want to propose to, uh, in front of the failure of PPPs, public-private partnerships, uh, accomplishing human right to water and sanitation, as it has been evidenced in the latest reports of the special reporters of human right to water and sanitation. And due to the increasing abuse of power transnationals exert to local governments affecting uh, gravely local sovereignty, there's an urgent need uh, to put in the agenda uh, and promote public-public partnerships and also public community partnerships with the objective of training and development of human resources, technical assistance, local government capacity building and strengthening public management. And also, finally, but not less important, the improvement of participation in the water management decisions. We want to highlight the facility of public-public partnerships and public-community partnerships to include easy and flexible involvement of civil society representatives, including trade unions, community groups and users, and also highlight these partnerships have been going on always and are the ones that are sustaining water management and that are more resilient to climate change emergency we are facing. Thank you very much.